Welcome to The Love Encounter. Thank you so much for connecting with us once again today. Those of you that are watching and those of you that are listening, thank you so much for connecting with us right here at The Love Encounter. Uh, today we are continuing with our study um, that we have been doing in the last uh, few days. We are looking at the methodologies of uh, healing and uh, we discovered that we have two streams of healing or methods of healing. One is the prayer of faith, the prayer of faith. And uh, the second one is ministering healing under the anointing, ministering healing under the anointing. Uh, we spent two days um, talking, three days, sorry, talking about the prayer of faith the stream of healing prayer of faith. And so today we're going to uh, continue uh, to talk about this, but today we're going to talk about, we're going to discuss the, the other stream, uh, ministering under the anointing, ministering under the anointing. We said um, that a lot of people have not seen results in healing. They have not seen uh, or experienced healing in their lives or in their ministry because they've not uh, totally understood how the subject of healing operates. And uh, they have also treated the subject of healing in a general way or the scriptures and verses about healing in a general way, just like uh, people have treated other subjects uh, like prayer. And, and, and so forth. So because they have not uh, looked at healing uh, in, in, in streams and they have treated the subject in a general way, they have not seen results. So we are trying to help ourselves so that we can experience healing, um, quick results. We can also experience healing in our ministry. I believe that when we treat scripture the right way, when we pray the right way, we will see quick results. And so, when we looked at the, uh, the, the prayer of faith, uh, we realized that one can use the prayer of faith or the prayer stream of healing in three ways. And all of these ways will bring the same results. Uh, number one, a believer can pray a prayer of faith uh, for his or her healing as an individual. You can pray a prayer of faith over your life. You can pray for you. And we said that uh, probably, uh, you know, the reason why some people cannot do this is because their level of faith or the, 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 their faith is not at that level where they can actually uh, pray for themselves or no one has ever taught them. Probably it is your first time to hear something like this, uh, like praying for yourself or ministering to yourself. You just, you've just had it now and so your faith is not at that level or your knowledge is not at that level. And so if that is how things are for you, then number two, number two, uh, you can call the elders. You call the elders. But where we are now, we are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. We are in Christ, in vital union with Jesus Christ. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The things he did while he walked on this earth, he still does today through the believers. Through the believers. And uh, so one of the things that I love doing is to empower ordinary believers. To show you that you are able to change your circumstances. You're able to move mountains. You don't need a prophet. It's okay if you have a prophet. It's okay. It's okay. If you have a, a prophet, you have... You know, it's okay. You go there, they bless you, they pray for you. But in case you cannot, 
in case you cannot go there, in case you can't travel to go there. You know, like right now, we're experiencing a lockdown. You know, you cannot drive, you can't travel, you can't go to church, you cannot go anywhere. You cannot. Some people can't access their prophets now. Some people cannot access their pastor. It's a lockdown. So, in case of such uh, 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 a situation, I mean, what do you do? Then you need to know who you are in Christ, and you need to know that the same power that raised Jesus from the grave resides inside of you. The power, the same power that raised Christ from the grave resides inside of you. So that's why I want every believer to be empowered. You can command mountains to live using your words, speaking, speaking words. You can do it as a believer. So you can pray for yourself. You can move those mountains out of your house. You can, you, you, you can remove that cancer out of your body. You can remove that tumor out of your, your body. You can do that as a believer. But anyway, if you are not at that level, or like I said, this is your first time to hear something like that, then the Bible says, call for the elders. Let the elders come and lay their hands on you, anoint you with oil and pray for you. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick, will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. Now, the other way is you can also call ordinary believers. If your neighbor is born again, accepted Christ as his or her Lord and Savior, and they can pray in the name of Jesus, they can pray a prayer of faith, anybody, you can call them, they lay, they lay hands on you, they pray a prayer of faith, you'll be healed. Any believer, any person that, acts, that has accepted Christ, any new creation, any new creation can lay hands on the sick and pray a prayer of faith. It has to be a prayer of faith. Any new creation can do that. Praise God. Any new creation can do that. So those are the three ways that we, uh, we can use the prayer stream of healing. And if you do this the way I've told you, you're going to see quick results. Quick results. Praise God. Don't fear. Lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Praise the Lord. Now, Today, I want us to look at uh, the second method or the second stream, which is the stream of the anointing, ministering under the anointing, ministering under the anointing. Ministering under the anointing is a method where you don't have to pray for the healing power of God. Now, understand me. Please do not misunderstand me. I began by teaching prayer. Prayer is important. The Bible teaches about prayer. And prayer is a stream of healing. Okay? So don't misunderstand this. But now, when, when we move to the stream of the anointing, operating under the anointing, ministering under the anointing, you don't need to pray for the power uh, of healing, the power, the healing power of God because you know that it's already available to minister to sick people. You don't have to pray for the power of healing to come because you know that this anointing is already available is already available to minister healing to the sick, to minister healing to the people. You know that. You walk in that knowledge. As a new creation, as a new creation, you walk in that knowledge. And when you walk in that knowledge, knowing that the anointing of healing is available, so you begin ministering to people under that anointing without you praying for the power of healing the healing power of God to come. You know that it is available, so you just 
uh, minister to the people under that anointing. As a new creation, you begin to see new creation realities under that anointing. The healing anointing seems to be the prominent method Jesus used to minister to people. It seems to be the prominent method Jesus used to minister healing to the sick. The healing anointing. Jesus operated under the healing anointing. He operated under this anointing. And you see, Jesus didn't have to pray uh, or to ask for the healing power of God to come in order to heal the sick because Jesus was already anointed with this anointing. He was anointed with this anointing. Jesus was already anointed to minister healing to the sick. He had this anointing. And so Jesus knew that this anointing was available upon his life. So he did not have to pray for the healing power of God to come upon the sick. No, he just ministered healing to the sick because the healing power was available upon his life. Because God had already anointed him with the healing anointing. And the Bible says that as he is, so are we in this world. If he walked under this anointing and ministered healing this way, you and I are well able to do the same. Why? Because as he is, so are we in this world. Okay, let's go to Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10, uh, verse 38. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Now notice what the Bible says here, that Jesus was anointed. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. Okay, you can put your name there and say, God has anointed Wilberforce. God has anointed the Wilberforce of Uganda with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who is going about doing good and healing all who are oppressed by the devil? Because God is with him. As he is, so are you in this world. Praise God. Amen. So, Jesus knew that he was already anointed. So, what he had to do is to minister under that anointing which was already upon his life. He didn't have to pray for the sick. He, 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 f he, he was flowing. He was flowing in this stream. Uh, and so the Bible says, for God was with him. He was anointed. He was anointed with the Holy Spirit. You were anointed with the Holy Spirit. He was anointed with power. You were anointed with power. God was with him. God is with you. So, child of God, you and I can flow under this anointing and walk around and lay hands on the sick and they just get healed. People can look at you and get healed. Have you ever walked in a room where depressed people are? They are stressed. They are depressed. And you walk in that room and joy covers that room. That is the anointing of joy. That is the anointing of joy. You walk in a room where everyone is sad. They look at you and they feel calm. They feel peace. They feel joy. That is the anointing of peace. That is the anointing of joy. You carry that anointing. So, so you, can, you can also walk in the healing anointing. You walk in a place and people get healed. That's the healing anointing that you're operating under. You find sick people. People that are being tormented by the devil and you speak life and immediately they get healed. You, you touch them and they immediately get healed. That is the healing anointing. So Jesus knew that he was anointed. Jesus knew that God was with him. So he didn't have to pray for the healing power of God. He just ministered healing to the people. Now, um, Jesus transmitted the healing anointing mostly through laying on of hands. Jesus transmitted the healing uh, anointing mostly through the laying on of hands. 
That's why he says you shall lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. Lay your hands on the sick. He didn't say pray. He never said pray and they shall recover. Pray and they shall be healed. No, he says lay your hands on them. Because he knows when you lay hands, you trans transmit power. The anointing is transmitted through laying on of hands. You lay your hands on the sick and when you lay your hands on the sick, power is transmitted through that through your hands and people receive it their bodies respond to what Christ has already done for the people praise God so we see that Jesus transmitted the healing anointing mostly mostly through the laying on of hands Luke 13 Luke chapter 13 verse 11 uh, to verse 13 and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And, and the Bible says, And he, he laid his hands on her. He laid his hands on her. And the Bible says immediately, the Bible says immediately when he laid his hands on her, immediately she was made straight and glorified God. We don't see Jesus praying for the healing power of God. Jesus did not use the prayer of faith. No, 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 no. Jesus laid hands and transmitted power. And the Bible says, when he laid his hands on her, immediately, immediately, child of God, you can see the same thing. You can see the same thing. As he is, so are we in this world. You can see the same thing. Immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. So power was transmitted through laying on of hands. Let us go and look at another verse in Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Sharabaseteke. Hallelujah. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, even right now on this broadcast. Thank you for the anointing. The anointing of God is coming through. The anointing of God is coming through. Thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter 4, verse 40. Now when the sun was setting, all they, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. He laid hands and transmitted power upon everybody that was brought to him. All were healed. All were healed. He laid hands and transmitted power. He laid hands and trans transmitted power. So we don't see Jesus praying a prayer of faith. We don't see Jesus praying uh, for the healing power of God to come. No, he just released power. Because why? he knew, he knew. Knowledge is powerful. You must know that you are in Christ. You must know that greater works shall you do. You must know that as he is, so are you in this world. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you can walk like he walked on the earth. You see, we are representing him on the earth. He is in us. He is in us. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, the things he did, the power he transmitted then, he's still transmitting now. Jesus, the power he released then, the power he trans transmitted then, he is still transmitting today. 
the power he transmitted then, the power he released then, he's still releasing today in our days. In our days. How is he doing it? Through his body, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. Christ is here on the earth. Christ is here on the earth. Christ is still healing the sick. Christ is still casting out devils. His body is doing it. He's doing it through the body. He's doing it through the church. That is why I strongly believe that we are about to see a healing revival. Why? Because the body of Christ is being empowered to do this very thing. You know, we are coming to a place where church members will not call the pastor to raise the dead. They will bring the man alive. And they will tell the pastor, this one was dead. Now he's alive. That's where we are going. Praise God. Church members will come to their pastor. And they will not say, pastor, come and, come and lay your hands on the lame. There is a blind man here. There is someone dying. There is someone sick. No. They will come to the pastor and say, pastor, we have a new member. He was blind. He's, he's able to see. He was deaf. He can hear. He was dead. He's alive. Praise God. That is where we are going. I believe God for it. I believe God for it. That's why we are empowering you to do the work of ministry. We are teaching you these things to do the work of ministry. You know, we do healing schools for this very purpose. Praise God. You are well able. Jesus is walking on the earth today through his body, through you and I. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you're sick right now, touch where you feel the pain. I cannot reach you to lay my hands on you. Just touch where you feel the pain. Power is about to be transmitted. As I raise my hand towards you, Power is being transmitted. Just believe. Take it as your own. Receive it. Accept it. Right now. Touch where you feel the pain. Touch where that disease is. Power is being transmitted. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Rise up from that bed and walk. Get out out of that wheelchair and walk. The blind begin to see, the deaf begin to hear now in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing of healing. I release the anointing of healing. I release it now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be set free. Cancer, live. Tumors, live. Every sickness, live. In Jesus' name. The power of healing, the anointing is being transmitted. Being transmitted right now. Being released right now. Out of my hands, through the screen, through to your body right now in the name of Jesus. There goes. It is released. Begin to do what you couldn't do. The power is released. The anointing is available. 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 Begin to do what you couldn't do. The anointing is available. Begin to speak. Begin to read. Begin to walk around. Begin to check your body. The anointing is available. The anointing is available. It's being released right now. Be healed. Begin to exercise the your body. Begin to do the things you couldn't do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That man is walking. That woman is walking. Deaf ears are being opened right now. Cancer has disappeared. Go back to your doctor and let them do more tests. You, you are healed. 
or incurable diseases have just left. Incurable diseases have just left. They've just left. They've just left. They've just left in Jesus' name. They've just left in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I close, I want to invite you, if you have not accepted Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I want to give you this opportunity to do it. The things I am teaching, you can only experience them if you are in Christ Jesus. If you accept him as your Lord and Savior today, at this very moment, you begin walking in this truth. In Jesus' name. So join me right now and let's pray together. Pray after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you now. I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I am now yours. From this day, I begin to walk in your finished work. Amen. God bless you so much. You're born again. Write to us, please write to us. There are two numbers on your screen. Um, both of them are on WhatsApp. If you are in Europe, send us a text message. Give us a testimony. Tell us what God has done. Tell us what you've learned today. Share with us. We shall praise God with you. Please connect with us if you are in Europe. Send a message to us uh, through that number. Or you can call. If you are born again, if you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior today, Tell us, we shall praise God with you. And uh, if you are in Africa, uh, there is another number, Ugandan number, CCK Helpline. Uh, talk to us, send us a text message. It's also on WhatsApp or you can call us. And you can send us your prayer requests either in Sweden or here in Kampala, Uganda. We shall pray for you and uh, we shall uh, uh, communicate and get in touch with you. Uh, give us some testimonies. We want to praise God with you. God is good. Praise the Lord. We love you so much. Thank you for watching me today. Go and practice what you've learned today and find some few people to teach them these very things. God bless you so much. Come back and watch. Welcome once again. See you tomorrow right here at The Loving Country. God bless you.